Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a problem from British Maths Olympiad from 1988. In this problem, we have x minus a times x minus 10 plus 1 equals to x plus b times x plus c. We know that a, b and c are integers. We also know that this equation is true for all x values. We are going to find possible values that we can have for a, b and c. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you follow the two accounts that we have on Twitter. The first one is for mathematics and the second one is specifically designed for physics. I'm going to add those links in the description of this video. For Instagram, make sure that you follow the account that we have here. Now let's talk about the solutions. To solve this problem, I'm going to apply some simplification first. We're going to have x minus a times x minus 10. It results in x squared minus x times 10 plus a plus 10a. And we have plus 1 on the left hand side, so we are going to just write it as is. On the right hand side we have x squared plus x times b plus c plus bc. The point here is I wrote the quadratic equation that I have as x squared, a term multiplied by x and a constant term. This is important here. Since the equation is true for all x values, if I use x equals to 0, then you can see on the left hand side I have 10a plus 1 and on the right hand side I have bc. So they need to be equal and I have 10a plus 1 equals to bc. On the other hand, we have x squared on both sides. We need to remove them. Since 10a plus 1 equals to bc, negative 10 plus a needs to be equal to b plus c. Now let's continue. We have negative 10 plus a equals to b plus c. We can say that a equals to negative b plus c plus 10. On the other hand, we have 10a plus 1 equals to bc. I'm going to replace what value that I found for a and it simplifies to negative 10 times b plus c plus 10 plus 1 equals to bc. Now I have an equation that has b and c. Let's see what we can do with it. Now we have one equation that you are seeing here. We have negative 10 times b plus c plus 10 plus 1 equals to bc. 
I'm going to try to find the value of B based on the value of C. To do this, I apply some simplification. We are going to have negative 100 minus 10B minus 10C plus 1 equals to BC. After a rearrangement, I'm going to have negative 99 minus 10c equals to bc plus 10b. Now let's factor out b and then divide both sides by the value that we have as 10 plus c. We are going to end up with negative 99 minus 10c over 10 plus c. Remember, C cannot be negative 10 here. We are going to evaluate that later when we found all values. There is a trick here that I'm going to apply to overcome the barrier that we have. We have negative 99 minus 10C over 10 plus C equals to B. As you can see, I have 10 plus C, I have 10 C, and I have 99, which is 1 less than 100 or 10 times 10. I'm going to try to factor out something from the denominator to be similar to the denominator. As a result, I'm going to write negative 99 as negative 100 plus 1. Now we can write the whole expression as negative 100 minus 10c plus 1 over 10 plus c equals to b. And after a modification, we are going to get 1 over 10 plus c minus 10 equals to b. Now there is an interesting perspective here. I have 1 over 10 plus C. Remember, A, B, and C are integers. To be able to have B as integer, I need to have 10 plus C as 1 or negative 1. If 10 plus C is 1, C is going to be negative 9. And if 10 plus C is negative 1, then c is going to be negative 11. Based on the value of c, we can find b, and based on the value of b and c, we can find a. So we are going to have two possible cases. None of them are invalid. Remember, we didn't want to have negative 10 for c, which is the case here. So we solve the equation and we found two possible cases for A, B, and C. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel. Hope to see you in the next video.